Teflon is a $2 billion a year business and one of the country's best known products. What DuPont once called the housewife's best friend. Cooking without Teflon just isn't any fun. Today, the federal government said DuPont had voluntarily agreed to virtually eliminate by the year 2010 any new emissions of the key Teflon chemical from its factories. This is the right thing to do and we're going to move forward with this. Scientific studies have found that Teflon's key chemical, called PFOA, linked to cancer and organ damage in laboratory animals, is in the blood at low levels of almost all Americans. It would be hard to imagine a chemical that is more widespread now in our environment. It is found everywhere from babies in the womb in the United States and elsewhere to whales in the ocean. And beyond that, it is indestructible in the environment. It lasts forever. Federal officials say the agreement also applies to a variety of Teflon consumer products, including carpeting and clothing, food packaging, as well as Teflon pots and pans. This program calls on virtually eliminating those uses in those products and substituting with other materials that aren't displaying any levels of concern. DuPont has already paid more than a hundred million dollars to settle lawsuits brought by residents who live near a Teflon plant in West Virginia. Sue Bailey, a former DuPont plant worker, blames the chemical for birth defects suffered by her son Bucky 25 years ago. Today they called the action long overdue. It's kind of a bittersweet uh, victory. Uh, bitter because it took so long and sweet because it's